The circle equation is worth memorizing because most SAT questions that involve circles in the XY plane are really just about reading the correct information out of the formula. As you can see, the formula x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared tells us that the center is the point hk and the radius is r. In the example, we should know that the circle with equation x minus 3 squared plus y plus 4 squared equals 25 has a center of 3, negative 4 and a radius of 5. You can probably already tell that there are a few common mistakes to be careful of with this equation. First, notice that the positive and negative signs of the center point will be the opposite of how they appear in the equation. In this case, the x minus 3 told us that the x coordinate is actually positive 3, and the y plus 4 told us that the y coordinate is negative 4. This is similar to how we read the root and vertex forms of quadratic equations. We also need to remember that the radius will not appear squared because the radius is a number, so we would just simplify it by actually squaring it. To find the radius, we should take the square root of the number that will typically be on the right side of the circle equation. So in this case, 25 told us that the radius is 5. Finally, like any equation, the x and y represent points. But for circles, only points on the outside edge of the circle will work in the equation. Basically, the equation is giving us all of the points along the circumference of the circle. Let's look at a few twists that the SAT might throw at us. First, we might get an equation with weird numbers, but we can't let that scare us. The formula still works. In this case, the lone x tells us that the x-coordinate of the center is zero, and it doesn't matter that the y-coordinate is a fraction. We still flip the sign as usual. The most common mistake is forgetting to take the square root of the right side to find the radius, especially when the number isn't a perfect square. But the square root of 7 is still a number, even if it looks messy in a calculator. Like any formula, the circle equation works even when the numbers are messy. Sometimes we're asked whether points are inside or outside of a circle, and we can tweak the circle equation to find that out. In this case, I would plug 4 and 2 in for x and y. And if the point is inside the circle, then the left side will be less than the right side. When we simplify, we prove that the point 4, 2 is in the circle, because 13 is less than 16. If the left side were greater than 16, we would have a point outside the circle. This works because the circle equation is basically distance formula, where we're finding all of the points that are the same distance from a center point, and that distance is the radius. If the distance is less than or greater than the radius, the equation will tell us. Finally, we will sometimes see circles that are not written in the standard equation. In this example, we know that this is a circle because both the x and y are squared, and the SAT does not ask about ellipses or other advanced conic sections. In order to get back to the standard equation, we would need to complete the square twice, once for the x's and once for the y's. Completing the square is a complicated and annoying process that I'll explain in another lesson. For now, just know that we can't easily read this equation for the information that we want. Notice that neither the center nor the radius of this circle appears in this version of its equation. We can still use a graphing calculator to see the circle and find its center and radius visually. The Desmos calculator is best for this because it graphs circles easily. Most handheld graphing calculators are only good at graphing functions, which a circle is not, so this wouldn't be as easy on a calculator like that. Regardless, it's much more likely that you'll see the circle equation in its standard form on the SAT. Memorize this version of the equation, and you should secure yourself an easy 10 points. Thanks for watching, and I hope it helped.